Hey, my super awesome, gorgeous, lovely, beautiful souls. It's Lizzie Lightworker here. What's up, guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Today, I'm bringing you an Aquarius Divine Female and a Sagittarius Divine Male in a Twin Flame Union. And this is a viewer's request. You guys have getting me on these requests. And I am trying to get them done as quickly as I can along with doing my private readings. So I just wanna mention, I will put a link in the description box for all my uh, information. But also I started a Twin Flame Separation Support Group on Facebook. It's a great place. It's a place where others can learn, connect, talk about their experiences, sort of like a support group. And I will be putting information in there and I will be doing pull of cards and pick of cards. And uh, once the group grows, to an acceptable number, I will start doing live readings in the group, okay? So think about that, check it out if you're interested, um, and we're gonna get right into this reading, okay? So Aquarius, divine female, let's tap into some of your energy here, okay? And I'm just gonna split my deck up a couple of times, shuffle it around. I'm still not using my tripod, I just don't care for it, guys. I like to really kind of like get in there. Um, so let's see Aquarius, divine female here. Okay. Well, I feel like there's some self-focus here, or there was, and there's just some things I feel like, you know, she can't get over. I feel like when she met her twin here, it was like Romeo and Juliet. I mean, I don't know, it was like this, this overwhelming feeling that she had of like, she was basking in his energy and the love and the light of his energy, okay? I think he made her feel really, really great. I think he made her feel like she was number one. Um, she was the only woman in the room kind of a thing here, okay? And then I do feel like it either went too fast, too soon, and the connection didn't have enough time to grow, okay? Or they kind of spooked each other. That does happen. You spook each other and one runs and one chases. But I'm feeling like something went a little too quickly here and then we're ending up with this out in the cold sort of feeling here okay and sort of like emotionally bankrupt feeling okay she may have been pushing a little too hard uh, out of more for him or he may have given her some false promises I don't know exactly we're gonna pull more cards but that's the gist I'm getting so far okay guys if this resonates keep it if it doesn't toss it but that's my feeling. I feel like she feels completely left out in the cold, um, having to deal with some other issues too, I feel, like just everyday life issues that are difficult. Um, and I do feel like she's not like out of the woods yet with this. It's like a halfway point here, okay? So she's still thinking on this and dwelling on this. Um, and, and it's kind of painful for her to try to move on and go on. I almost feel like she feels like she can't go on. Um, like she's feeling crippled, like sort of emotionally. But I could also sense a little bit maybe Dark Night of the Soul is happening here where, you know, Dark Night of the Soul, if you're interested, I can do some videos on that, guys. But more so that happens when your twin leaves you or flees from you and your world sort of blows open and all the things that you used to care about, you just don't anymore. You don't even want to be sexual with anybody else. You're just like infatuated, obsessed, and like just this longing for your twin hits you and it makes you feel like you are literally on another planet, like you're on Pluto in the freezing. Um, okay, so let's get into his energy. All right, so I don't know. I, I feel like he could be a little bit combative here almost. I feel like, you know, he doesn't want to be pressed for nothing. I mean, I feel like he does well in life. He's got like maybe some money saved or he's working on that. You know, I don't know. Sometimes I think of the, this card as working on retirement type stuff. I don't know if he is, but I feel like he's pretty well off. He's okay. He's financially stable, okay? He's got enough. I don't know if he's got a child. Sometimes I can sort of sense that with this card. I feel like what he really wants is to have this like later in life, okay? Later in life, he wants to be all set with money, goals complete, sort of be sitting on some money, sitting nice, like in a nice house with a family and all that. But I feel like it's meant for him when he's older, okay? I'm getting a little bit of an energy here where he sort of wants to be... Um, maybe left alone at this time. Like, he's got some growth to do. I feel like he is sort of um, a little bit of an angry person. There could be some hidden anger issues that he has not dealt with. I feel like he does not want to be told what to do. He does not want to, if you were like, I want to be in a relationship, I almost feel like it would make him run for the hills. 
okay? There's something about that. He's like a very much a fighter, okay? I also feel like he's got issues with always needing to be right. I feel like he will fight. He doesn't care if someone thinks he's wrong. He's going to make his point no matter what. He will literally bash you in the face with it. He doesn't care. Okay, I feel like too, there could have been some competition around her and him. I don't know if somebody else was after her or she was in a relationship or uh, cheating or, you know what I'm trying to say? Like it was a third party situation, three people. Like here's our divine female, somebody else. Here's our divine male, somebody else. Okay, something like, I feel like interrupted. I feel like there was fighting over it. Okay, sort of like, no, I'm the top dog. Okay, like that. That's what I feel. I feel like he felt like maybe he had a fight for her, okay? But they did not get along that well towards the end, okay? When he first came into her life, it was very, very good. Um, you know, he really, like, rode into town like this hot, like, kind of like a James Dean bad boy. And she, like, was all about it and all over it. I feel like he kind of swept her up in it. Um, but, yeah, he's, like... I feel like he's not budging when it comes to like what he wants and what he got in his head and what he thinks he's not budging. He's not budging right now. Um, I feel like he's got some anger to work out. Definitely. He's got some issues to work out. I feel like he always has to be right. That's definitely an ego thing. Ego got to get dropped. I feel like she almost kind of sensed and felt like he did have some ego issues, but she was willing to look past it. Okay. She was willing to sort of like, you know, say, well that, you know, maybe that'll, it's not that big of a deal, okay? So let's get down the middle here and see. Okay, so I mean, I feel like she's looking to find him. I feel like she's looking to sort of make an offer out to him. I'm just gonna take a sip of my drink, guys. Thanks. So yeah, I feel like she's wanting to like find him, wanting to, you know, make like a peace offering or like try again or try to be like, well, come on. Like, you know, maybe we should try one more. I feel like her energy is like, she can't let this go. Okay. And that might not be healthy for her because we're looking at this particular card and the picture there is not, not too nice, not too pretty. Okay. So this could be a sign that she needs to maybe say whatever she has to say to him and still continue to move on, still continue to sort of like obtain her goals and go after things in life. Okay. But I'm feeling like, to me, that seems or senses like a, a, a peace offering. Okay, so you know what? With the moon in reverse, to me, this is saying more so that she really needs to get in touch with her subconscious feelings, our divine female. Our divine female needs to go to her subconscious, okay? She needs to use her intuition. To me, this is feeling like she knows damn well what the answer is going to be, but she's not following that gut and not following that intuition, okay? There is some shady behavior here. So our divine female has to be aware of this, okay? There is some sort of, I don't know, I want to say shady, that's all I can say. Shady behavior, like there's things that are not yet revealed, there's secrets, there's things that she doesn't know, there's things that he doesn't know. This could also transfer onto his energy where she may have done some things that pissed him off. And she may have done some things that were a little bit shady or she was fearful of this connection, okay? That's possible too. It can go either way, guys. This can read either way. You can resonate with either side of this, okay? Divine male, divine female. Sometimes we think we're the divine female, we're really divine male. Sometimes we think we're the divine male, we're really the divine female. So just keep that in mind. It can read either way, okay? Because a lot of you ask for duplicate readings, and I'm not really into doing that. Um, you know, the energy is the energy. So, yeah, I feel like a little bit of shadiness. But I also feel like a lot of things are going to come to light here with this, too. I feel like if they have a conversation in the near future, I feel like lots of stuff is going to come to light. There might be some apologies. There might be a chance to sort of uh, repair this a bit. Um, I don't think it's going to be ready like, oh, we're going to be together again. But I feel like there's some repair work that needs to be done. And that's a stage or a step in um, future reunion. Do you guys get what I'm saying? I mean, you can have multiple me reunions and multiple meetings with your twin. It's not like we're apart. Oh, separation. Now we're back together. La-di-da. It's a happy ending. No, that's not how it works. 
okay? There's lots of things that you need to do. There's lots of things that you have to, you know, accept and uh, things that you need to do to move on and heal things and let shit go from the past and just to be a better person inside and out, you know, it makes you feel good when you start realizing the things that you need to do, not just for the reunion, not just for a promise of a reunion, for the your own self, you know? Yeah, I feel like he's, I don't know, I feel like if she were to kind of come at him with, you know, wanting to talk, I feel like he'll be accepting. I do feel like he will be accepting of this, but I feel like he's not going to budge on what he thought he was right about. Okay. He's still not going to budge. He's got an energy where he's very intense. He's argumentative almost. Okay. He's, he's, um, impulsive and argumentative and impatient okay so his patients are only going to go so far if she starts saying too much stuff about the past and he's just going to like kind of blow her off so i feel like if that did not happen yet it can happen he's standing firm on his beliefs nothing is going to change his mind or his beliefs okay not in this energy not at this time he is in this energy where he is I'm in charge, I'm in control, I'm in command, I am dominant, I will dominate you. You will not win, just give up because you won't win. That's his energy, okay? I'm reading what I see. I know sometimes it's not what we want to hear. I'm not here to tell us what we want to hear. Okay, guys, I love you guys so much, but I'm not here to say what you want to hear. I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you progress into things, to realize things and accept things. So yeah, that's his energy. I mean... It's unfortunate because you want it to be like clear and concise and everything's going to be okay and I'll take a peace offering and maybe we'll have another chance. Not saying that you can't have another chance. I'm just saying don't try to persuade him. Don't try to make him believe something or harp on him. He ain't having it. His, his patience is that short that he is not having it. Okay, this is all going to take a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of time, a lot of energy. You basically, our divine female has to decide if she got the gall to stick it through. Does she have the gall to stick it out here, to put more into this, to wait, to put more energy into it, to wait, to put more passion into it, to wait, to him to not be receptive, to him to have a lot of this energy for a long time. He's got to get out of that. Nothing can happen unless he does what he needs to do with that, okay? And I do feel like he may sense or see sort of relationships as a bit of a chore. I don't know because I feel like he's a little bit self-focused on money and career and things that he feels like he needs to do to get ahead in life. And I feel like he's so obsessed about that. I almost feel like he'll step on anybody to get it. And um, I mean, I think he's just got some harder, harder lessons to learn. I feel like our divine female has some accepting to do. Because this may not turn out the way you want it to. Unless you're willing to be in this position for a while. To be out in the cold. Waiting for him to change. Waiting for him to evolve. Waiting for him to accept his spiritual journey. Waiting for him to admit things. Secrets. Things that he feels deep inside. His, his deepest fears. He may, he may do that with you. If he didn't already in the past reveal like his deepest fears, he may need to do that with you. But to me, this last card represents you needing to fe feeling the need that this is going to be a hell of a lot of work. And I do feel like if you stick it through, our divine female, I do feel like you will be proud of yourself and you will be have something that you've built. It's going to take a lot of time and effort. So what I want to do here is I want to pull a surrender, power of surrender card so we can help our divine female and we'll help our divine male. So our divine male, let's see. He needs to surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. You know, that could seem like this doesn't even make sense for this reading, but really to me it's saying that that's somebody who needs to go out and get grounded, okay? Like needs to get their mind off of a lot of the stupid earthly shit that they care about money, career, values, things like that, and get away from that a bit and get back into nature and meditate and suck in the beauty of the earth, Mother Earth and get grounded. That's to me what that's saying, okay? Now for our divine female, we're doing surrender to what is flow with what is instead of fighting it 
when you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it exactly as is will bring you peace. Okay, so that's that's the end of the game here for now. Accept to what is. You know it's going to be a lot of work. It's up to our divine female, unfortunately, here. Our divine male is not there yet, okay? I don't feel like he's willing to put in the effort 100% yet. He's got a lot of growing to do. He's got a lot of evolving to do, a lot of self-work to do, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. Please let me know what you think. Give me a big thumbs up, please. I don't get enough likes. And I know a lot of you like these videos because I see you watching. So give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe so you can see more free video readings. This has been Lizzie the Lightworker. Love and light to you all.